Good morning, everyone. So today we will talk about the jinx. The biggest jinx that I know of in programming. So let's get into it. Now, what is that you ask? It is uttering these words. Oh, it's just a small fix. Should be done by today. If you say that ever, if you ever say those words, oh, it's just a small fix. I'll, I'll just fix it. Easy, just fix it. As soon as you do that and you start working, you realize that, oh, um, there are a few cases here that I didn't think about. Oh, and that's tied into that. Oh, and oh, damn, if this is going to work exactly as my PO, my, my product manager wants to, um, I, I, I can't do this because I have to do it that way. It's always tied into something, right? This is something, this is a mistake. I, I, I just cannot get away from it. I, I, I've been working for a few years now and to this day, I still have this issue where my manager, my project manager asks me to fix some small thing or something of, of that nature. And I just go, well, this seems pretty easy. And I just say, I just blurt it out. Oh yeah, it's an easy thing. And now I set the expectations of my PO as, oh yeah, Frederick should be able to do this by the end of the day. And it turns out that I can't because I am absolute garbage at time estimation. And most likely you are as well because time estimation is hard. It is really, 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 really hard. And I, 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 it's just almost impossible to get it right. And one of the things that makes it even worse is when you have a I, I can, at the same time, I can kind of understand the stakeholders part in all of this. Usually when you have a specification, for those of you who are not working as professional, as, as pro programmers just yet, what usually happens is that you have a stakeholder. A stakeholder is just a person who has a vested interest in, you know, in the delivery of the software that you are writing, right? So usually it's a product manager or your CEO or CTO or whatever, somebody, your boss, let's call it that. And that person has a, a mental picture of what they want and then they tell you, all right, this is the specification or this is roughly what we want you to build and so forth. And what they will naturally do is that they will think about all of the things, like the holistic view set of what they want. Now, this makes a lot of sense from this person's perspective, but the problem comes for you then with, as the software, as the engineer, because now you have to figure out what it is that they have in their head and ask all the right questions. Because if you don't, you will forget parts of the specification. And depending on what type of stakeholder you have, they will either just be annoyed that things are taking longer or they will like understand that there was something they forgot or they're going to, well, they might even blame you for not you know, fulfilling your part of the contract. And this is why I keep telling people that very small stories and very specific specifications is what you have to go with. It's the only way to, uh, unless you have a really nice manager, of course, and hopefully you have, you can kind of talk about it, but it, if you have some, especially if you have a customer or something who doesn't, you know, like who, who may not be so open to delays, it's very important that you have exact and very precise, and I'm talking painfully precise. We're talking to the level where if I click this button and the modal shows, and then I click the cancel button, what should happen at that level it has to be because trust me when I say this, you don't think so when you're planning it, but these things starts to pile up and these small little details starts to matter. Like just the other day I was working on this exact thing. We had uh, once again one of these really big loose specifications and there are a million things to keep in, keep in your head. The specification written down on paper in the, in the story is super loose. It's open to so much interpretation that it's in, almost impossible to like, really derive all the small details and so forth. And these details usually come in the form of your PO coming up next to your shoulder and say, oh, can you make that blue instead? Or can you make this and that instead? And, oh, you know, I want this to work that way instead. You, you know, can you just fix that? And all these tiny little changes starts piling up. And now you have to keep them all in your head because they're not part of the specification. And what usually then happens is that you sit there and work and work and work and work and you forget. You, you, you remember five things, but you forget two other things. And then you come to your PO and you say, I'm done. PO uses it and they go, no, you're not done. You were missing these things and these things. And this isn't working the way that I expected to. You, blah, 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 blah. And then you have to do, 
you have to start working again. And that's when you do the jinx thing. That's where I do the jinx thing. This is now that I take it on myself and I say, shit, I forgot a few things or something is missing from the specification. I have to say something to make this all better. And then I say it. It's a small thing. I'll fix it really, really quickly. And I make a promise, a false uninformed promise, instead of doing the thing that I should be doing, which is to tell them that, yeah, all right, let's sit down and have another meeting and talk specifically about exactly what it is that you want to be happening. To actually take the time, respect the feature enough to actually do it properly. Instead of doing that, I just try to smooth everything over because I forgot something. So, one of the things that I think that you should have with you when you're working is that you have to set, so like, uh, unless you want to be in the situation where a lot of the, because let's be honest here, I think that it's a little bit, uh, there's quite a lot of responsibility that you put on the developers when the specification is very big and very loose and so forth. And unless that's the way that you need to work or you want to work, it's very important that you have a continuous dialogue with your stakeholders. So make sure that, you know, that's, this is what I try to do. I know it's, I, it may not be for everybody because some people like to sit down, write the whole feature and then, you know, ship it as one thing. What I like to do is that I sit down, I write the bare bone first thing that I can think of. Like an MVP, if you will, the absolute minimum thing I can do, then I show it to my PO, like to my stakeholders. And then I do the next thing and the next thing I show every step of the way. They are in, in the loop every step of the way. I never just sit and write the whole thing. Because also that the odds of them changing their minds or something of that nature or me doing extra work or doing the wrong thing is very high if I just start continuously working. Now, this is a work method that is somewhat popular in certain circles, which is called Scrum or Agile or whatever you want to call it. But as I've said in previous videos, it's not natural for a lot of business people to want to work in this way. So you, but you can, as I, as what I, that's what I do, you can kind of force it by just asking their opinion on the work that you're doing as you're working. So try to let go of that ego, really try to let go of it, because you know it's, it feels nice to sh build something and make it perfect and then show it to somebody and they go, wow, yeah, awesome, that's exactly what I wanted. Trust me when I say, unless you are some type, if you are really connected to your, to your stakeholders and you need, really know what they want, maybe you'll get it perfect on, every on the first try. Mm, I'm not that sort of, sort of person, so for me it's necessary to swallow that pride and do something that is, from my perception, like it's not really done and just show them, is this roughly what you want? And they go, no, or they go, yes, and then I do another iteration, is this roughly what you want? And then I continue that process until I have delivered the thing that they want. So that's my tip to you guys. Keep your stories small and try to avoid use, uh, saying, saying the words, don't worry, it's a small fix. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it quickly because it's never a small fix. Have a great day.